check, check, check. All right. Okay. So, I know y'all like, what's, what's this? But, I'm about to explain. Put on your thinking caps. So, y'all see the three eyes on the dragonfly. It's the yellow and red. Y'all see the three eyes on the fly right there. That's purple and blue. Y'all see the human embryo at eight weeks, nine weeks. That part where the three eyes would be is called the diencephalon or dicephalon. And the thalamus in the corner. The image, the screen, the white one. It's the same thing, that part where that eyes where the eyes would be is called a gland. They call it the pineal gland or the simple eye or a pigment pit. The trying relationship, this is what they talking about in the religions. When you see when you see a God with the or it's really Jesus with the sun behind him or Zeus pointing, shooting lightning, shooting lightning out his fingers or controlling the material basically becoming a architect a builder which these trying relationships these pigment pins have I'm just using their names because they really would be black holes that's receiving light they translate in the light for reaction action phases signals channels because the, the rays of light that they absorbing are turning in the vessels. So what I'm saying is the rays of light, which are connections, like how the sun is out. Them three, the glands, the pineal gland, and the insects in their phase, three eyes are picking up light impulses. which nematodes and larvas have these eyes too. So that this would be how they would be stretching or reaching because in different degrees of life, which are light, to bring a being into fruition or to the earth. That's what this picture in the middle is. You have certain degrees. You a crystal, but before you dormant, before you struck with lightning, 
from the optical body because the red bodies would be the retinal bodies. The light bodies, clear crystal bodies would be the optical bodies and the red bodies the pigmented bodies would be the muscle, the body, the solid you can feel, have sensation with this part. Also to point out a thing called a in the in these eyes. Is called a fovea centralis. The name they gave it. It's a shallow pit in a surface. A small pit underground reservoir for what? Light fluid, crystal fluid. The three, the three light bodies, like the black hole, the sun, and the moon, the black hole in the middle. Y'all see the middle eyes. Y'all see they all in the middle. And where the and where the pole is striking the earth on this image I got in the middle. The sun and the moon are recycling this light, which will be called a Taurus field. A Taurus field, cycling energy. Think of a I had a picture of it. Man. But the sun is giving off certain characteristics and uh, certain characteristic characteristics and style to the men, which would you could say the sun is more masculine. We're gonna say that anyway. The moon is giving off certain characteristics and style and that's more of a woman's side. That's more the feminine, you can say. But when we combine them, you can say it makes all. Because like with the pollen, what you say? with the pollen, um, pollenia, Pollen is a pole. Pollen makes the pole poles for the energies to come and play on the earth. See, with the knowledge we got now, it ain't even like play. It's like survival of the fittest or only the fit survive. But you only survive based off your knowledge and experience. Are you putting yourself in harm's way? Or not but it's all based on that so all right go to pollen right here the energy is always together the energy's all have been together see the what they giving us today is they separate and then we blaming stuff on each other man this these women see they need to get it together and the women say these men need to get it together. When we need to say we both need to get it together. But when we um, research and we find out that, see, how they saying they discovered it, this is mean that they really altered it, altered the balance. You see, she got her hands up, the two energies going around. She got wings because she was a crystal before. 
from the sky. A shooting star. But really, she's maneuvering. We maneuvering through that space before mingling with this. I mean, at the same time, mingling with this space. That's what sleep and meditation is really about. Rest. Because 